Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm painting roses from my garden and I think I will show you those roses before I start painting. So these are the roses I'm painting today. I just picked fresh branch and you can see it's kind of uh, pastel colors has some rose but it has a very lot of warm a lot of warmth inside of the rose itself so I'm going to try to capture that and I will also show my palette I premix some colors here so I have lots of different colors because I've been plein air so I just and my previous paintings I collected all those colors but I think the one that I'm going to use is titanium white cadmium yellow light cadmium yellow deep um, cadmium red delight and terra rosa uh, transparent brown oxide ultramarine blue some viridian in the corner there and I premixed some of these colors as, as I go normally I don't premix colors but I just decided to premix it this time so I'm for my background so to speed up the process a little so I'm going to set up my camera here hopefully you can see it well and I will just start going and hopefully I will try to do it faster with premixed colors I just need to check something that it's the video is working yeah I think it's working yeah so I didn't fry my um, canvas this time so it's a oil primed linen already bought oil primed and uh, in the roll and I didn't prime I mean I didn't do any underpainting with any color I just did a very schematic drawing so if you see I could did contours here so and I wiped here so quickly put the gloss and I because it's a lot of light white colors so I thought I may just go on the white surface didn't without killing white so I will start with a bristle brush so this type of brush and it's filbert so really doesn't matter if it's filbert or flat it just uh, so it would be enough to glide well along the surface so i will start from the rows that further from me and i'll try to find the to match the color for that rose so it's a little bit dark here with some pinks in it as well so it's further from me this is a shadow so I'm blocking it with terra rosa some brown and some green and a touch of white actually I'm going to do I'll go a little darker because I can always bring it lighter later but at this point I'd rather go a little bit darker so you see that my paint is very thin so I'll go with that and you know mix another pink one but a little bit lighter this is my lightest on this rose and then there is some light here I'm wiping my brush as well a lot so this kind of gives me a rough idea for values and colors of this rose and of course I will paint it a little bit with my background after this is just a rough sketching at this point and there will be more of the greens behind the rows as well so there is, will be some greens here so I'm using um, viridian in this mixture so greens because it's a warmer green and it gives me so will be leaf here so this warmer green gives me uh, a better warm green in mixture with brown that works well for rose leaves so now I'm going to the main rose so I can see a lot of warmth here so it's cadmium yellow deep with terra rosa 
I want to show that warmth in this rose. It's very nice creamy color. So I'm using also mixture of cadmium red light and white and um, cadmium yellow deep in this rose. So I want to show how nice and warm it is. I'm adding tiny bit of white. I'm trying not to do it too much. And also I'm squinting just to see the shadow part of it. And at the same time trying to not to lose the nice warmth of it. And now I can do a little bit lighter where I can see light from this rose. I'm trying to paint thinly at this point. So that's going to be my background. So now I'm going to the rose at the back. So rose at the back the furthest and it seems to be the coolest and also the most um, like less contrast, the rose that has less contrast, the most remote from me. So it's almost kind of pink gray. Of course I'll leave some color in it but uh, for now I'll leave it like this and I'll add some white to it as well later. There will be some warmth on it too. Uh, some cadmium yellow dip and some brown at the bottom. Trying to avoid using um, too much white at this point. So and then I'll do the back where I see greens that rose to kind of give me indication and then I have one little um, bud here there is another bud but that bud over there you can hardly see it I can just roughly sketch it there so over there the bud is here it's kind of closer to us again that's pink, green, brown, all kinds of different shadows in it. So that body is a little bit tilted. And then I'll go through leaf parts. So I'm mixing again viridian and transparent oxide brown. So going through the leaves like roughly, not painting leaf leaf but kind of giving indication myself where my greens are going to be. So there are some greens over there. Don't go off the canvas. There is greens here, greens here, here. There are more greens here. Like some small leaves here. It's kind of very very rough indication and then I'll go with the lighter color just to see which ones are more have more light so there are some in the glass here so I'm going to use a uh, viridian and cadmium yellow deep just to go a little bit more for some warmer leaves in the glass and then again viridian and brown, transparent brown oxide, just to give more depth on these ones. And now I'm going to quickly do my glass. So I'm using ultramarine blue and um, a little bit of um, raw umber and adding a little bit of yellow ochre just to see what color it's going to give me. Maybe a little bit of warmer brown. So that's going to be my gloss. So it's gloss is really repeating the um, background, but just a little bit warmer and a little bit darker. So 
that's why I'm using those warm and cool color so in this case my background is very like not very dark but relatively dark at that area so again I will be working on it later and maybe I'll be making it a little lighter but at this point just want to put some indication of color there and I'm cleaning my brush in the Gamsol so now I'm going into background so my background is you know, it's a kind of neutral material but it has a little bit of uh, blue and brown in it so I'll go through in between roses first and if it's mixed with leaves a little it's fine because it kind of gives you that kind of background uh, that should be a little darker so there is a little bit darker here as well on top of the rose and then I'm going to lighten it where um, I see more light passing through it so the light actually goes more on this side and I might be taking it a little darker than I should but I'm not worrying this at this point because it's easy to bring to light than to dark and easier to add white than I'm kind of rubbing it in roughly adding a little bit more light patterns where it's needed up here is a little bit lighter so the, here I had titanium white but it's still very very thin so it would be still easy to wipe it or paint around it so I'm painting curving around rows here so because my light from the window so I'm adding a little bit of cooler color here that I see and at the same time looking at my greens which I painted earlier and I can see that they're coming a little bit forward here so just trying to curve them going through these leaves and in between them and then adding again a little bit of white so more color here and a little lighter I made it a little bit dark so I'm going to kind of even it a little I don't want to make it all the same trying to look for the colors and shades of blue and brown in it There is more brown on this side. And of course I'm going to correct the shape of the vase as well at that time when I start going into details. I may break this window or oh, window. <laughs> I may break this video in two parts details and blocking because I think it's easier to watch when you're not overwhelmed with too much information and I'm not trying to rush it so that rose will I'll bring it back when I start going through the details so it will not disappear so you can see if I add a little bit of white it's kind of coming back so for now I just need to block in the whole area with paint to have idea where is what and how does it look and do this and then I'll have my tabletop so 
so my tabletop is um, always a little bit of brown a little bit of yellow ochre depending and there are some blues reflection from background so it's kind of this color but before that I'm using ultramarine and brown because I can see it's a kind of shadow reflection in that material oh sorry reflected light in the material so from material into the shadow and back and it's kind of has blue and brown both and then I have shadow from the um, my partition that surrounding the setup also going dark so I'll do those first and then I will do my light a tabletop part actually I can see a lot of coolness because it's a cool day it's a lot of cloud and normally like when I see Sun this board is much more brown but today it's very very cool light so that's very interesting how just the cloud coverage does this reflection in everything so obviously today I'm going to have a cooler still life with cooler light even though the shadows are going to be warm so I think at this point it gives me indication of how it's going to look and then I can start bringing up and more um, what I was going to say <laughs> I'm going to start bringing up the values and doing the colors more bright once I have this block in so I think I'm going to change swap the brush I still use this brush for some other so I'm going to clean my hands and my brush I'll take a softer brush so actually last time I was using a very nice soft brush this is called Sable Tech and this is a flat soft brush Tech, so I'm going to use this brush for my roses so we'll go through the same mixtures really nothing new just start refining them more and see if uh, some areas of the flowers need more color more light should look more bright so I'm mixing again cadmium yellow deep and cadmium red light and white I'm going for my central rose squinting I'm trying to bring this light back on my rose very carefully red light falling on this petal as well again I'm not going to paint all petals but I'm going to kind of there is some coolness on that petal so for coolness I will be using a touch of viridian in white so that will give me maybe I will be using like ultramarine blue and um, with the Rimmel's white I will see and of course there is some reflection of background in it it's not like really really detailed it's more kind of painting over the same but refining my shapes and then detail will be the last this is more kind of I'd call it shape refining but I have to be careful to not to overdo it and not to lose my shape of the rose so there is some deepness richness in, on this side of the rose plus I can do a little bit more with leaves where I see leaves that 
will help me to define the shape as well. Let's turn it a little here. I think I need more depth on this side. I'm using Terra Rosa. I think it was a mixture of Terra Rosa and Viridian. Yeah, I have to go into those mixtures. Terra Rosa gives very good depth because it's very rich, warm color. Richard Schmidt was using it a lot. It was one of his favorite colors. Um, I know that Kathy Anderson and Daniel Keyes are using it as uh, one of the mixtures in their flowers. So I'm trying to use this one because I like it. So try not to go into every petal and trying to create the shape overall. Maybe I will need just a little bit of the smaller brush. Um, try to use a brush, a little smaller brush, just because I went too far. <laughs> I don't want to lose my shadows. I don't want to go too too much into that, so this will help me kind of do it. And I think the shadow on this side is even a little bigger. So I'm going to, like I said, correct the shape. And even go a little bit deeper in color here. And then have some overlapping petals. The roses are changing so quickly. show transparency of petals as well so they have that gray color design on those ones here so I think I'm going to mix some purple just to keep it in case I need it for some transition areas for the roses so it will be very I need a little bit here, a little bit there. This one has a lot of pink in it, so I want to keep it nice and warm and pink, so I mix more of that color already had. And then I'm going to add some more depth in there. Roses really need lots of attention and focus when you paint them because they're changing so fast as well, opening as you go. I think 
I'm going to do this rose and go to the next one. Like I said, I'm not going to go through details, but I think I already started going into details. That's okay. This means I have to spend less later on this rose. Just another touch of Viridian and brown on this side. And then here, it's kind of cool gray color. <laughs> 